Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be recording the uh, the emoji array, which we're going to build up right here. Assignment in 2.1.3, 2D arrays. Really exciting, actually really starting to dig into some extremely difficult coding, in my opinion. Tough things to understand. A lot of logic flying around, uh, so it should be a fun one. Let's see, let's start it off just by grab dragging out a when started. That's always how we're going to start things off typically and then let's see here uh, when started and let's make us two number variables we're going to do i save that oh we already have a variable named i i forgot about this okay we have i right here we're going to make another one for j which i already have perfect and then we're going to make ourselves an array a 2d array that's going to be five by five and we're going to call it emoji which i think i already have as well let's see Save, yes, we already have that one, okay. So we we already set it up. So here's I, J, and emoji, and all the things that kind of go with it. Let's pull out emoji first and take a look at that. So we're gonna set the values of emoji. Now, the first thing we're gonna draw is a smiley face. So I'm gonna add some uh, zeros in critical positions here as we go. Uh, there's zero, let's make this one zero. Make this one zero bit of a tedious task here, but that's all right. And make this one zero. So we've kind of, uh, we've, we've put in two eyes and a smiling mouth um, for our emoji here. That's perfect. So there we go. Now we need a couple of things to actually print out our emoji on the screen. So let's go back to the control. And we're actually going to use something interesting today. Really awesome, really tricky. Uh, we're going to use nested while loops so we have two while loops right normally and this one is going to be controlled right here let's see let's pull out our less than and this one is going to go right here our less than as well and we're going to say while i is less than five and then we're going to go while j is less than five right there like that. So I, I is going to control our progress through the rows right here, one, two, three, four, five. And J is going to control our progress through the rows, one, two, three, four, five, and actually technically zero, one, two, three, four, which is why it's less than five, and zero, one, two, three, four, which is why it's less than five as well. Now, here's the thing is I wanna go row by row, right? But I wanna do row, and then I wanna go one, two, three, four, zero one two three four and then i want to move down to the next row and zero one two three four and then to the next row zero one two three four All right so what i'm going to do to accomplish that is i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it inside there All right so for every i i'm going to do five trips through my j loop very tricky okay so i'm going to do five trips through the i loop and five trips through the j loop per time we're in i Really tricky, really kind of confusing to uh, work with, at least in my opinion. I struggled with uh, understanding this for a while. Um, but hopefully, we'll start getting the hang of it here. So, okay, so let's see. Of course, now both of these are going to start uh, with setting our i and j values. And let's see, i should be 0, and j should also be 0. I'm not going to put j in the program just yet. I'm going to save it for a minute actually you know what let's i take it back let's just put it in there i think that's the right spot for it so i starts with zero j starts with zero and we want j to reset to zero every time we move to a new row so i, I becomes goes from zero to one right we want to set j back to zero so we can restart through the loop like that okay so while i is less than five j equals zero okay good 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 all right now let's uh actually put in the control structure for our uh, for our printing mechanism. So this is where it gets interesting. Well, it's already been interesting, not where it gets interesting, it stays interesting here. We're gonna need our emoji and we're gonna test to see if the emoji array is equal to one. Oops, and I think I pulled the wrong one out of here. Yes, this is the one we want. So if emoji of zero comma zero equals one, what do we wanna do? Otherwise, what do we want to do? Okay, so if the emoji equals zero. So now we're going to change this from being zero to zero because we don't want to just check this upper left-hand 
value, we want to check all of them. So we're going to say if I and then comma, I guess there's no comma, but I and then J equals one. So this is going to start right here, zero, zero. And it's going to say, does it equal one? And yes, in fact, it does. So what are we, we're going to do then is actually just very simply print ourselves a blank space. Okay, perfect. And otherwise, if it does not equal one, so if it equals zero, we're going to print ourselves a star. Not an eight, a star, although an eight would probably work too. All right, so that's going to put a star there there, 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 and there. It's going to put, uh, what is that, seven stars on our screen if everything goes according to plan. So first thing we're going to do is check here. It's a one. Okay, so put a blank space. Then go here and put a star. Okay, so we're going to need to tell it to advance from, one, from zero, zero to zero, one. So after this else statement, let's increment j by one. So let's say j equals one. And instead of saying one, let's add one to the value of j just like that. Okay, perfect. So this should go through zero, zero, and it should print uh, one, zero, one. Oh, pardon me. It should print space, star, space, star, space. I tell you what, let's check it out here. See if it works for us. And uh, if it doesn't, you know, then that's all bad because I want to stop recording this video. But uh, I think it will work. Let's see uh, here. What do we have? Okay, let's plug this in. All right, please work. Connect. Yes, we're connected, maybe. All right, let's download this thing. See if it works. Compiling program. Okay, that's a good sign. No brain connected. Please connect a brain. Okay, that's frustrating. Let's unplug and replug. I have this problem all the time. There we go. Okay, now it's connected. We woke it up. Here we go. So let's compile this thing and let's hope that it works. Compiling, compiling, compiling. Download, complete, press play to run. All right. Oops, take that screen off. Run. There we go. Okay, and we have star, star, skip, star, star, skip. So it appears that it works, It just, but it just runs and runs and runs and runs because I is always equal to zero. So it works. Uh, but we need to we need to advance to the next line here, right? So we're going to need to increment i as well as j. So let's pull out this while loop right here, right? So after we run, oh, and it always does that. Why do you just disappear? That is incredibly frustrating. Sorry, guys. Okay, you would think I would have learned my lesson the first time, but no matter. We're just going to make it again real quick. Uh, let's pull out a while loop. Here we go. Yep, so here's some review in case you uh, in case you needed it. I'm sure you didn't, but here it is in case you do. Uh, let's see. This one, if while true, while, uh, of course, this is going to be J is less than 5, and then if true, if what is true, uh, equals one, and uh, then we're going to go here to user emoji. Sorry, I'm not re-recording re the video. Actually, this is the second time I've had this problem, uh, so I don't want to redo the entire thing here. Uh, J, okay, and then let's go to right here, brain dot screen dot print hello. Instead, this is going to be a space, and then instead of that, it's going to be star there we go okay so let's pull that back in i think we're back where we're at now i'm not gonna take it out i learned my lesson once so this is the while loop right here it's kind of hard to see organized we do have a lot of stuff going on right here um, but let's try to increment our value of uh, j here so let's go to user or pardon me of i and that's after the else statement okay so now i forgot that yes we do need to Actually, this needs to go here after the while statement. And then this one goes right here. So this is J equals J plus one. And this is going to be I equals I. There we go. All right, so a couple of trips through the loop here uh, and this is looking pretty good to me. Let's see how it does. 
Oh, and we're still running here. You can see it keeps trying to add more stars on. Let's stop that. Okay, let's re-download this. Okay, download complete and oh, there we go. Okay, so it did kind of do something, not exactly what we wanted. And I think the reason is, is because I forgot to put a new line in there. So let's think about where this new line needs to go. So I need new lines and I need five new lines and I need that line to occur after we've printed all of one complete row. So that occurs outside after this while loop. So the J loop prints everything in one row. Then we need a new line. We need to increment I plus one and we need to reset J to zero. So let's do this actually. Let's put a uh, new line right here, right here. Let's try that one. I think that'll be good. I like that. Let's uh, download this. And there's a few different places you could put the new line. And let's run it. There we go. Okay, you can see our smiley face did print. It looks a little bit funny. Maybe maybe we don't need all of these zeros. Anyways, we can mess with that. We can make our emoji look pretty good or not, you know, we can make it, we'll make it work. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. Good luck.